introduction to GoFiber. In this short video, we will take a look at what is GoFiber and how can we get started by writing some very basic endpoints. Let's check out the docs. So Fiber is a web framework built on top of fast HTTP and it is Express Inspire. As a Node developer, I felt right at home. So now let's start by implementing a very basic hello world. So I'll go back to my VS code, initialize the module, go mod init API. And now let's install go fiber. So I'm going to go back, copy this, go back to my VS code and paste. Let's also create our main.go touch main.go. package main func main so app fiber dot new and it should automatically be imported let's do app dot get default route function it will take a context of fiber context and it expects an error so this context struct have all sorts of cool things now let's just simply return our hello world string so return context since string hello world and now i'm going to listen on port 4000 listen 4000 great Let's run this. So I'm going to go to my terminal, clear it, go run main.go. So it's running. Let's open our postman to check it. So postman. I'll make a new request. Here it's HTTP, localhost, port 4000. Let's run this and we get a hello world. Let's go back. Now let's create a simple get and post endpoints for a resource such as users. So we'll start here by defining a user. So type user struct. Let's give it a name, string, and tell it to marshal it as name. Let's also give it another field. Twitter, so string, JSON, Twitter. Perfect. Now let's update our get route. So let's say user. And I'll extract our function into a separate handler. Let's say get user handler. Inside a get user handler, let's return a user. So user. Let's give it a name of gopher and a twitter of let's say go and now let's send this as a response so let's remove this and write status of fiber status okay that means everything went fine we are returning a 200 and you can access various status on the fiber struct directly and now let's send a JSON of user. I'll also restart our server. So I'll cancel this and do go run main.go. I know restarting server can be really annoying. I'll suggest using something like reflex to restart our server when something changes. Okay, now let's go to Postman and check our user endpoint. So user. Let's send it. We got our user. Let's go back. And now let's define a post route. So I'm going to come down here and do app.post. Let's say user new. Create user handler. Now let's go up here and define this handler. So func create user handler. The context.
let's create a body of user parser body so context dot body parser they should give us an error let's handle it it's not equal to nil then I'm gonna send back the error to the user so context dot status fiber dot status bad request and send string of our error I will also return the error so right now we'll just create a new user from our body and send it back as a response so user name and twitter body or twitter just like before we'll return a status of 200 and a json response i'll quickly format this and let's restart our server clear go and main.go Let's go to Postman. Create a post route and then HTTP localhost 4000 user new. I'll also give it a body of type raw JSON. So let's see name Golang Twitter something. And send. Perfect, we got a response. Let's go back to our VS Code. Now I want to introduce some basic functionalities like middlewares and groups. So to start with a middleware, I'll just do app.use, very similar to express, logger.new. We can also provide some config to our logger, but right now we'll keep it simple. Now let's see our group. So app.group user. So user API. And now we can use this user API. So this will just be a forward slash. And this will just be a new. Finally, restart our server. And go to Postman change something let's say first name and send it we still get our response but now check this out as now we have the logger middleware we see some additional logs lastly i'll commit everything to this repo so you can find the code so this was a very basic introduction to gofiber hope you liked it